So in this case, we are going to consider as a typical uh, revision, actually, uh, on our Venn diagrams, uh, the basics of the Venn diagrams. Uh, we do understand in our probability, we have been uh, actually referring to this before. Uh, so it is not something that is new. Uh, if we consider uh, the presentation of the sample space, it is something that we have taken from the Venn diagrams. So Venn diagrams can also be an important presentation which is used to represent a sample space and its events, the events of the sample space. So we have got the sample space, which is like our mother set, which consists of all elements, consists of all events. And in this, so we can have different probabilities taken from the mother set, which is the sample space. So in short, we are saying, uh, Venn diagrams are graphical, so these ones are a graphical, are a graphical way of uh, representing, that's a graphical way of uh, representing a sample space, a sample space and its element, which is events, and its events. So meaning to say, we can have different situations. So in this class, we're not going to dwell uh, deeper into the, the sets. We're just going to consider basics, uh, two sets. So given, let's say something like this, we can have A, Set A, set B, which are two events, event A and event B, separate, like this. We can have what is in A, this is what is in B, and this is our sample space, like if we combine everything. A on its own, we have got B on its own, then there can be elements which are outside of A or B, which are outside. We can have a single set, which has got A and its complement, what is outside of A, the complement of A. We can have a condition where the intersection is considered of the two events. There is event A, there is also event B. We have got A and also we have got event B. Then there is an intersection here which shows that some elements are in A and they are also found in B. That is a condition of both a and B, both, both A and B at the same time, A and B. So take note when presenting a set, there is the A, let me see if I can just take it, this, this one, this one that I'm moving, this one, it is our A, this one, this part, it is our A, this one, which means we are talking about all elements that are found in A. But when we bring it back, this part, when we bring it here, this A here, like what it was like this, there are some elements here of A. There is a part of A, this one, which is being shared together with B here. This is. So what does it mean, guys? All right? Let's take this part here. 
it was our A, this one. As it was, it was our set A, all right? Then there's a piece which is being taken by B, like this. A piece which is being taken by, which means these elements which are found in B, this one, they are also in B, these elements. So are we seeing there's a section being shared? Some in B, some in A. So it means A is now subdivided. They are those ones that are remaining this side, these ones, which are not even found in B. Remember, this is where the part here, which was of B. So here, these ones, they have nothing to do with B. This is B, B, B. This part in green, this one. It has nothing to do with B. So it is referred to as A only, which is the same thing as this part of B that is here, B only. It has nothing to do with A. So that's A only. So I want us to take that part again and put it back to our diagram here. All right, let's go back. All right, so this section here. All right, let me just a little bit. This section, it is A only, this one. What is found in A only? A only. Same with this case. For B, it is going to be B only here. This one. They are just found in B. They are not found anywhere. Only in B. Here it is both A and B. Then outside here, those are the ones which are not part of A or B. So this is not A or B. What is outside? Not A or B. So the combination here, it is A or B, this whole part when you combine, that's A or B. So A or B, it is uh, the combined part. Let me separate this way. All right. So that's our set A and B together. So A or B combined, like all this, if you take this part, all this. Taking everything, even those that are on the intersection, everything as you this whole combination that we see, it is A or B. The union of A or B. So that is the union, this one. Take note the intersection. This will only part this one. That is it. This is the intersection. Intersection, this part, both, both A and B. So be very careful. So we can use this to answer questions of the probability. So the sample space, its probability, as we consider probability of the sample space, guys, it is not going to change. It is always equal to one. Everything that we see. Everything, it's probability, it's a certain, that's one. That's one. So there are conditions that we can now use, like what we had before. Uh, those ones, guys, it is going to be according to the type or typical uh, event, uh, given situation. Remember, I talked about inclusive events, mutually exclusive Exhaustive, guys, it, it is now uh, a matter of understanding of how the questions now can be given as by the basics of a set. This is what you're going to need. Consider the Venn diagrams that we are given here, the following Venn diagrams. Calculate the probability of A. So there is this part and this part. There is an intersection. These two, they are separated. All right? So given these are elements. So we're just going to take our elements as they are. How many elements are we having? 
That is the condition. How many elements that we are given? Number of elements in A over what? Number of elements that we have of the sample space. So how many in A? What is representing set A, guys? Set A, it is the whole combination, this one. This is our set A, this one. That's our set A, this one. They did not mention A only. This is A. A only, this one. A only, A only. But here they said A, they did not put the only, so you take everything, you surround this A. How many elements do you see? One, two, three. So there are three elements out of what? The whole sample space, how many elements? So that's we've got one, two, three, four, five, six elements. So that's uh, three out of six, which was going to give us uh, one out of two. One over two, just like that. What is it? If it was a condition of this side, probability of what is in C, C, it is on its own. This is our C here. We can properly see it, this one. Number of elements that we see in C over what? Number of elements of the sample space. How many elements that we see in C? We can properly see our C separated as it is. One, two. Out of what? Sample space, we count one, two, three, four, five. Two out of five. That is how we answer these questions. If you consider here the probability of B or number B, where are we having B? Here. We cover it. This is our B. How many elements do we see in B? Over what? Elements of the sample space. So B we count 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 elements. Out of the whole of the sample space, remember we counted, we said there are 6 of them. So you can even use your calculator to reduce. It was going to give us 2 over 3. That's how we answer these questions. So many uh, questions can be asked on this type of a question. They can ask us the probability of not B. What is not found in B? If you know what is in B, this is B, this one, this is B. This is our B, this one. So not B Meaning to say, B complement, outside of B. There is a 2, there is a 1. How many elements? 1, 2. There are 2 elements. Out of 6. Remember, all of them, there are 6. So reduce, that's 1 over 3. Guys, you can, you can be asked anything. Just be able to tell the position where that section is. Where is that section? By telling the section, then you can, okay, this is the, the part that I need. They can ask us the probability of A and not B. The probability of A and B complement. So, where is the position? Where do we find this? A and not end. Remember, and its intersection. So let's consider first. The complement of B means what? What is not in B? This is the complement of B. This one. It represents the complement of B. This one. It is the complement of B. This one. What is not in B? But when we say intersection A, this is our set A. All right? This is our set A. This one. The one that is in blue. This is our set A. So, intersection, guys, it's both. So, where do we see both colors? We, where do we see both conditions? Like, the green and the blue. Where do we see them occurring at the same time? It is this part here. It is this section here. This one. This one. Where there is a two. That is the, that is the, the section that we want. A probability of A not B. That is this, this two. How many elements do we have there? There's only one element that we see. Out of six elements that are 
in the sample space. So you must be very careful, guys. Very careful. They can say the probability of not A and B. Probability not A and B. A complement. Intersection B. What is not in A? Let's start by what is not in A, this one. Outside of A. It's not in A, this one. Intersection B, let's cover B, this one. This is our B. So intersection means both. Where do we see both blue and red occurring at the same time? That's our answer. So the, it is here, blue and red here. Where there is a 3 and a 5. How many elements? There are two elements out of 6. So that was going to give us 1 out of 3. Just like that. Know how to take this. When they, when they put a union or, like this one, probability not A or B. This one is now a union you combine. A complement, what is not in A? This is it. What is not in A? Outside of A. This is it. Outside of A. This is not A. Outside of A. But they say union B. Okay, this is our B. This one. Union means combine. So this time we do not choose both. We take everything that is every part that is shaded. Every shaded part. Every part which is shaded. That is our answer. So what is shaded? There is one, two, three, four, five. There are five elements. Out of six in the sample space. Just like that. So union or you combine. 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 Take everything that you see. The red and the blue. You take the, this part which is shaded red and blue. So that is how we answer these conditions of uh, uh, when they say this one, it's not in this. All right? Then probability of A or B like this. Then they put, which can be written as probability not A or B. Not A or B like this. Combined together. A or B is this one. This is our A or B, this one. The whole part, this one. A or B. So when we say not this one, it is outside. Because this is our A or B, this part. This one. It's our A or B combined together. So what is not that part? It is this element. How many are they? There is only one element there. Out of six. Not A or B. There are so many questions that can be given. Just figure out the position. Figure out the position. So this is it, guys. Let's do answer as many questions as we can.